Hi everyone, I'm Black Marvin, and this is a tutorial about how to make a dub delay. All right, I'm really happy because uh, I think uh, since FL Studio 12.5, I believe, they introduced that uh, beauty here that is the Fruity Delay Tree. They had Fruity Delay 2 and Fruity Delay, which were uh, pretty standard uh, delay plugins, which I didn't use. Um, I was, I'm was i used to uh, using other delays, such as uh, the Karma FX delay, which is a free plugin. Pretty standard too, but I like it. And also I use uh, the one I want, like short, uh, more like a tape delay, like like this one. Um, I use the, the Deep Blue Glitch plugin and the delay uh, plugin inside that the blue glitch but the king with this this one here and i'm really happy because it's a uh, tape delay and you can do a uh, lot of, lots of things but uh today we're going to focus on a dub delay so this is pretty much how the um so this when you open the plugins it's how it looks all the all, the, all those settings um and first of all i'm going to um loop here because that's that's the length of the dub delay I want I want to make that's pretty much it so uh, when when you have the you had the uh, fruity delay tree I took mushrooms I took mushrooms I took mushrooms this is how it sounds. It's uh, it's okay. It's really not that uh, that aesthetic. Um, it's not exciting to the hear. Uh, so what if you want if you want to do a dub delay, first thing it's it's here that's going to happen. Well, well time here. Uh, you want to remove the uh, tempo sync. You want to have it like this. Um, you also so time is is an important knob. Uh, the feedback level is an important knob too, and the wet is an important knob. Um, you could you, we could also filter the feedback, but if you want like a standard dub delay, you don't you don't need to filter the the feedback or at least not in with this particular filter, which would be the in integrated in the plugin so uh three three knobs i could even like um maybe i'll already do an automation for that uh oh nice um i could also uh maybe like do an automation for the wet uh, because th this we're going to use this for um to my to trim or to, or to uh, make things uh keep, keep things at a nice level because if when you you deal with huge amount of feedback here, yeah, things can get overwhelming fast. All right, so m well maybe we have a good example of that. Here. I took yeah, well, it's not it's not that bad, but it, just keep in mind that the wet here is going to be used to, you know, make things level things out. Um, and all right, so first we want you want to have uh, now I'm at 140 BPM, and even though we uh, uncheck that uh, tempo sync, we want the first um, we want the the, the first uh, no uh, retriggered uh, signal to feel like it's kind of un unsynced uh, with the tempo of our project. So I'm gonna look. I'm gonna put my metronome to have a good taste of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, little thing here. Because right now, if you listen, all the vocal sample is being delayed. That I don't particularly want. I want the word, word mushroom to be retriggered. So I'm going to use the, the input knob here because that determines what is going inside the uh the delay plugin so i'm going to automate that and i'm going to go right here and i'm going to decide which which part of the vocal sample comes in and which which one doesn't so i took mushrooms uh please all right i took mushrooms so the here is the high tuck and here is mushroom that i don't want that i want so gonna 
just make an automation like that. So I took mushrooms. All right. So now you hear the difference. I just I only have the word mushroom being triggered, not not the rest. So uh, now I have a good setup, and I I think it's uh, I'm gonna hear the timing here. I took mushrooms. Mushroom, 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 mushroom. No, the timing I I don't I don't like it. Uh, maybe like that. I took mushrooms. <laughs> Oh yeah, Th this one is pleasing to the ear. It's kind of like a, uh, yeah, nice, and it kind of feels a bit on 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 the timing of the, uh, on the BPM of the project. Um, another thing too uh, you could do, and I I will do, is put that in ping pong. So um, you have uh, it's going the, the delayed signal is going to go from left to right, and plus that I'm going to put uh, like a pan maybe on, on the delay just to make a things offset a bit I took mm, so it's it, it's more exciting it's going from left to right and uh, all right so the uh, we have we now that we have our uh, timing uh, beginning timing here uh, I could now now that is, is is what I want I'm going to create an automation clip I'm going to Copy that uh, value, the time value, and this you know is going to start around here to retrigger. So I'm going to paste that value here, and uh, actually from here to here, I'm going to uh, manage that curve so I, I could get a nice nice retrigger effect. And because we unchecked that uh, tempo sync and we we didn't check also the key pitch. We're gonna hear the pitch. It's gonna become higher and higher. Um, so first, I'm gonna listen how it sounds like this. I notice that I haven't uh, touched the, the wet knob yet. I'm gonna first listen how it sounds, and if it's not exactly, um, if the the volumes are not at my taste, I'm, I'm going to do a, even things out with that. So. Let's hear it sounds. I took mushrooms. All right. What we what I hear already is yes. I feel like I'm I'm kind of losing power at the end, right? Because uh, it's nice here, but I, I'm losing power at the end. So uh, what I want. First, what I, uh, I would do is uh, get that wet knob like rising because I, w I want full full volume, right? All, all the way up, all, all the when it's triggering, all the the dub delay. I want nice full volume, so that that might that that might do it. And if 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 it's if it's not, uh, and if it doesn't, we could mess with the, not, that knob. So and also I. I want to, uh, the delay or right, the pitch to be a bit more uh, subtle before it, cut, it starts really uh, creeping up. So that those, those adjustments should do should do the, should do it. I took All right, so that 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 is pleasing, and uh, an important thing you want to uh, you want to do is make sure you close that automation because it when uh, if you don't close it and when you deal with huge amount of uh, uh, level of feedback, it can sometimes like. Uh, rush, 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 rush. <laughs> You know the the plugin kind of stays at at that level of feedback, and if you don't close that automation at some uh, in some other parts of your project, you could hear like hey, still it, the delay still being triggered, and this is not uh, it's not a good thing. So make sure you 
And when you're done with your WDA, you just close that automation. Another thing you could do is uh, get the Edison here and actually tape tape that record that and uh, so you you don't you won't have that 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 you know uh, automation problem. You ju you're going to deal with pure audio of that um, uh, dub delay, and also you can apply effects on that. Another thing would be that you. make it make it trippy and now you can go and make some interesting music don't don't forget to check out if you like that video don't forget to check out all the samples that Gosak gave away during the advent calendar if you didn't have already just, just grab them all guys they're free and even if it's not the genre or the style that you're producing you could you could still use it in your production i, I as i produce sitrans i use some neurostep and dubstep uh samples it just just doesn't matter it's just how you make how you use them how you make the these sounds right so i'll see you soon and have fun cheers